Neighborhood Association and property owner here on North Limestone. Uh, kind of began when I was 17. I went to Bryan Station here uh, at 17. I dropped out of school, unfortunately, and went into the Army, got my GI Bill, and went to college there in California. To work my way through college, I worked on old Victorian homes and fell in love with historic buildings. So when I moved back here in 1999, I worked in real estate finance, I started buying up some of the buildings here and fixing them up. I fell in love with some of the older buildings and the history of this community. Uh, part of the history of this community is, and part of what we valued, and what I learned to value in San Jose, California. San Jose, California was the bedroom community of Silicon Valley. Everybody from the world, from all walks of the world, came to San Jose. Uh, so I got to live in a diverse community. I, I got to know Hindu, Sikh, low income, high income, millionaires, uh, well educated to the uneducated. And I love that part of life. I got to live vicariously through others. When I moved here, I got to experience the same thing. There's a big diversity of community and culture and income and ages here in this community, as well as historic buildings. So uh, my first building was up the street on North Limestone and Broadway Park. As I was working on that building, I was still working for Bank One and would drive by here every day uh, and see these buildings and they were kind of deteriorating. So uh, I started off with buying the two fourplexes over here and started fixing those up. Uh, and as I was fixing those up, these buildings came available and started working on these buildings as well. The, the goal has been to fix up the buildings without displacing the community. So as I work on these, we do it kind of slowly, so the insides are fixed up more than the outsides right now. But I've been able to keep the rents from anywhere from $350 to uh, $400, $400 here in the community. When Lexington's average rents are $750 for a residential community. Same thing with commercial. Uh, I'm trying to fix these up, but also keep the rents affordable and rent to businesses that are within the vision of the community. We want a walkable community, we want a green community, and we want arts. Uh, arts has always been a, a, a leading business in recovering communities. Uh, when able to, when I, and I've seen what bad businesses can do to a community. Uh, there was a drive through liquor store called Fresh Liquors next door, uh, and it wasn't healthy for the community. It kind of hindered the community from growing and developing. And once that moved out, I saw the positive changes that came to the community or the removing of negative things that were happening in the community. And we started looking for more positive businesses. And uh, at once Capoeira Center was in here, Capoeira was Joe Allred when he was a kid in, in uh, Oakland, California. Capoeira got them off the streets. Capoeira was a diverse group of people that practice uh, Brazilian dance and martial arts and songs and it brought a really good group of people together in a playful environment. Joe uh, wanted to grow, so he moved to Louisville uh, about six months ago and is growing his business there. So we started looking for some other people that would work well in this spot. And that's when I met Ide and Charlie, uh, two artists that have a business model that I believe that will work well in this community uh, and work well for a gallery and a studio. And uh, we hope to just kind of continue to grow from there. And then the other business that recently moved in where a church used to be is now Stacy, And she runs Vi Creative Visions. What's the name of it again, Charlie? Vision. Vintage. Vintage Creations. Where she's taking some older things that doesn't have a lot of value as antiques and redoing them and giving them value. And uh, also she creates, makes some of her own jewelry. And then right next door to that uh, is Mary Beth, who... Uh, was originally partners with Mia's and is now opening a restaurant on South Limestone but also is doing another restaurant here with uh, her husband and they're going to call it Art and Soul. Kind of a, uh, a, 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 a respect to what used to be here as well. This community was known as a musical community in Al's Bar. We did the mural there on the side of that bar to show the music and, and how it related. We like the idea of music and arts, bringing people together, a diverse community together. At 1905, in the back was the Dixieland Gardens. Louis Armstrong and all those guys played there. So we're going to try to reestablish that and then connect to what was the music arts here as well, performing arts. And that restaurant is kind of playing homage to that as well, an art and soul cafe.